Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. So today we have Eagleton criteria in oral surgery. So Eagleton criteria is a criteria put forward by Eagleton in 1926 to diagnose the cavernous sinus thrombosis. So cavernous sinus thrombosis or CST was uh, first described by Bright 1831. Okay. So it is a complication of epidural and subdural contamination. So since it has very intricate neurovascular anatomic relationship, this CST is the most complicated type of intracranial septic thrombosis. So this is CST uh, which can result from infection of any paranasal sinus or any of the anatomic structures drained by the cavernous sinus including the mid face, orbit and even oral cavity. So Eagleton criteria we have a few uh, criteria to be uh, fulfilled in order to diagnose the CST. So before that, uh, we need to understand a little bit about the cavernous sinus. So cavernous sinus is a dural venous sinus situated lateral to the cella tosica between two layers of cranial dura in the middle cranial fossa. So structures present within the cavernous sinus include the uh, third, fourth and sixth cranial nerves. Okay, uh, and ophthalmic and maxillary divisions of the fifth cranial nerve and internal carotid artery with its surrounding sympathetic plexus. Then the various uh, routes of infection that can lead to the thrombosis. So one from the face through the angular and ophthalmic veins then from the middle ear through superior petrous sinus and from teeth that is maxillary sinus then from cervical vertebra through the pterygoid plexus which is emptying into inferior ophthalmic vein and also from the sphenoid sinus by direct extension or draining the emissary veins or even by extension uh, from an infected internal jugular vein or lateral sinus or petrosal sinus or from the plexus of veins which is surrounding the internal carotid artery. So Eagleton uh, he has put forward uh, six criteria for establishment of the diagnosis of CST. So this is a very commonly asked short note in our surgery. So let's see what are the criteria. The first criteria is a non-site of infection then there should be evidence of bloodstream infection then there should be early signs of venous obstruction and uh, there should be involvement of the nerves in the sinus that is the third fourth and sixth cranial nerve then uh, there should be abscess formation in the uh, soft tissue parts that is a neighboring soft tissues and there should be evidence of uh, or symptoms of uh, meningeal irritation. So these are the criteria to confirm the CST. So it is a very rare disease but the mortality rate remains very high even after the breakthrough of antibiotics and all the advanced imaging techniques. So the problem is if the person uh, who is not aware of this criteria uh, can lead the patient to worsen the situation. If he is know the criteria, if we can diagnose the CST as early as possible, uh, we can start the intervention, antibiotic intervention and reduce the mortality and save the patient. So there can be unethical practices by unregistered practitioners and a lack of awareness of dental health in rural areas or in such areas uh, can lead to severe life-threatening complications of a dental infection. 
because the dental infection has a high chance of turning into cavernous sinus thrombosis. So you need to uh, diagnose it as early as possible. So all the practitioners must be knowing this Eagleton criteria to manage CST as early as possible because the early diagnosis is the most important thing in management of CST. As the time goes by, uh, the recovery rate uh, is reduced and the mortality rate will be increased. So early diagnosis and aggressive antibiotic treatment which can definitely prevent the mortality because of CST. So on an exam point of view, uh, you need to write the six uh, criteria uh, for diagnosis of CST that is Eagleton criteria. So I'll come up with a new topic in oral surgery. Thank you.